is Larissa with Bicozy.net is here. Bicozy.net and Bicozy.com is an American website with the biggest collection of chunky yarns for hand knitting and arm knitting in the United States. We're located in Holland, Michigan, so you, if you're local or if you're visiting our beautiful city, you are welcome to stop in our office. So today I will be using our chunky Chanel yarn in these three beautiful colors. This is our oatmeal, this is sage, and this is our tie-dye Chanel, it's pretty new in our collection, and the color name is Desert Camo. So the Desert Camo will be in the middle, so there will be oatmeal, uh, there will be Desert Camo, and beautiful sage. It's a actually a really beautiful uh, color combination, and the new pattern that I will be showing you today is called Beaded Rib. So I will be making this small uh, baby blanket and uh, it will be the size of uh, about 25 and over here and about 40 inches uh, long. So it's a small baby blanket, three skeins. And the pattern is called beaded rib. So this is a beautiful blanket, uh, small for a baby or actually good for a toddler too and uh, you can make it within probably about 30 minutes to 60 minutes beautiful uh, pattern and um, you can buy yarn as i said at becozy.com or becozy.net let's get started okay guys so this is the colors that we will be using uh, oatmeal uh, this is our tie dye chanel and desert camo and this is our beautiful uh, color uh, sage so we will start with our sage color. Let's find the end of the skein. Place it in front of us like that. So this is walking yarn. This is the uh, tail. And I usually use my lighter to burn the tail a little bit to prevent unraveling. And now we will be starting our first row or cast on chain so how we will do it we will place walking yarn on the top and now we will insert our uh, hand inside this loop that we made and then uh, insert your hand inside this loop grab walking yarn and pull it out we just made first stitch now take walking yarn and the tail and pull it down and stitch up so we just made our first stitch guys and now what we will do we will make it a little bit smaller by pulling yarn working yarn down and making it about a little bit more than one inch so this is our first stitch now insert your hand inside the stitch grab working yarn and pull it out so we just made a second stitch guys and now we will be doing the same we will be repeating this i will press the bottom of the stitch uh, to keep it this size insert my hand grab walking yarn and pull it out and try to make all stitches approximately the same size this way the finished blanket will look really nice so uh, uh, for this blanket, uh, this will be a baby blanket, I will be casting on 14 stitches guys, okay? So the 12 stitches will be for the pattern and uh, two stitches for the sides that the sides would have a beautiful chain. So let's count the stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. We have 14 stitches, okay? I will put uh, information, I will place information about how many stitches needed underneath the video for different sizes of blankets. We're making baby blanket 14 stitches. So if you want to make bigger blanket, look underneath the video. What are we doing now? we are flipping this uh, cast on chain on another side like that and now we will start pulling out our first row uh, the reason we uh, flipped it on another side because we want this beautiful chain to be on the bottom of the blanket and this is the only way to achieve this so this is our first stitch here from underneath we insert our fingers grab working yarn and pull it out 
We just made our first stitch. So now we will be using this middle part of the stitch, not the top, not the bottom. So this is the uh, middle part of the stitch. We will lift it, insert our hand, grab working yarn and pull it through this middle part of the stitch. We just made the second stitch. You can see that it's approximately the same size as the first one. This is our goal. Uh, all stitches should be about the same size. So this is second uh, stitch that we are knitting the middle part. We're lifting it, grabbing working yarn and pulling it through this middle part. So keep doing this way until you have all stitches of the first row pulled out. I usually pulled out uh, all stitches with a simple knitting stitch, that's what I'm showing you, and then uh, studying the pattern from the second row. It's possible to do it on this row, start the pattern, but it's uh, much easier to do it when you have your stitches pulled out like this. So see this beautiful first row, all stitches approximately the same size. Here we are. So what are we doing next, guys? So the first stitch we will be simply knitting the same pair, uh, the same way we just uh, did here, insert your fingers, grab working yarn and pull it out. So this is our uh, side stitches that will be knitted all the way around, all the way up to the uh, end of the blanket. So next two stitches we will be purling. So the yarn that was laying here will go on the top. You will grab the stitch and then you will take working yarn with your right hand and you will push it through the stitch like that. This is purl stitch. We will do the second the same way, purl. Uh, hold the stitch with one hand and then push the yarn through with the other one. So this is the difference between stitches. This is knitting, knitted stitch, this is purl. Purl has a bump in the middle. So what are we doing now? So next three stitches. Knit, purl, knit. So this is our pattern. Purl, purl, knit, purl, knit. And then we will repeat. So purl, purl, now knit, now purl, and knit. This is actually completely the whole uh, pattern. Uh, by repeating it, we will create beautiful beaded rib. So next to pearl, pearl, pearl. I will actually put a description underneath the video that you would see uh, in written this pattern. So next three, knit, pearl, knit. So knit, pearl, knit. Next to pearl and finish with knitted stitch. Here we are. So our second row is ready. We started our pattern and now we're just repeating the same pattern guys. Uh, we are knitting stitches as they are. The only difference here that I will be skipping the first stitch that will give us a beautiful chain here the same as we have now on the bottom. So here we are. You see these two stitches are purled, that it means that we are purling them. So the same way yarn goes on the top, you're taking the stitch and pushing yarn through to make purl stitch to purl. Because they were purled in previous row. Next three stitches, you see these two were knitted, this was purled, so that's what we're doing. We're knitting this stitch, purl next, and knitting this. Okay, do these two are purled, we are purling them. Next three, knit, purl, knit. So you're just simply looking what stitches you saw, uh, uh, you made in the first row, and then you are repeating them. So this not, uh, last stitch is always knitting in this pattern, the same as on the other side. So I will keep knitting this way, guys, uh, until I'm done with the whole skein of this beautiful sage color. 
uh, make sure that your stitches are kind of on the smaller, on the tighter side, because this pattern is uh, looking really beautiful when it's uh, knitted tightly. So I will keep knitting and I will be back when it's time to attach our next color. Okay, guys, so I'm back and this is uh, one skein of our sage color. And uh, here you can see that I have yarn a little bit longer than the width of the blanket, but it will not be enough because it needs to be at least two, uh, length, uh, two widths. So what I will do, I will actually cut it and I will show you how to connect the next color, which will be our tie-dye and desert camel. So let's find the end of it. And I will use the lighter to connect the yarn. And uh, you can also make a simple knot, like uh, one, two, and then tight it, uh, make it really, really tight, pulling both sides and then cut really close to the knot. That's the simplest way to uh, connect the yarn if you don't have a lighter. If you want to connect it with the lighter, you start burning the uh, one end and then connect the other and then kind of like push it uh, toward each other for a few seconds, wait until it will get a little bit cooler, and then start rubbing this yarn uh, together, like pressing that middle part together and rubbing it together for a few seconds, and then try to pull the yarn if it's not fallen apart, then it's connected well, and this one was not connected well, so I will try again a little bit more. So trying to push it together a little bit better. Okay, so here we are. And now rub it together, kind of like press it together, trying to connect. Okay, so now it's pretty good. So let's continue our pattern. So here you can see our pattern forming. So this is our bedded rib, bedded rib. And now we have a beautiful uh, desert camo color. And we will continue. I will continue to skip the first stitch. Look at this beautiful chain on the side. That's what skipping first stitch on each row does to the blanket. The blanket look very nice and professionally made on the sides. So I'm skipping this and now I'm purling these two stitches because they were purled. And I am uh, knitting, purling, knitting the second one. So, and here I would like to show you a little trick. So see what we have here? The yarn in the pearl stitches uh, is showing up, this, this uh, lighter color is showing up in between of the dark ones. And if it's okay with you, you can keep it this way. But to make it cleaner looking, I will knit the whole first row of this new color. Just knit, okay? Where it was pearl knit, and where it was knitted knit, we will do it just to connect the yarn that it wouldn't uh, show up the connection on the finished blanket. So we are knitting first row of new color, uh, all knitted stitches. Here we are, we knitted last stitch, now we're skipping it. And now we will uh, go back to our uh, pattern. So this two will be purled again. This knitted, because it was knitted all the way. This was purled, so we're purling. So just look at your pattern and keep knitting and purling according to the pattern. And then you will have this beautiful beaded rib pattern. So here we are. See, we have nice and clean connection. And this uh, side will have this connection showing the uh, white 
or oatmeal in between of the sage. But on this side, it will be nice and beautiful. So I will keep uh, knitting the pattern with our tie dye Chanel. And when I'm done with tie dye, I will come back and I will show you how I will connect the uh, oatmeal color. Okay, guys, so uh, we have two colors done for this small, beautiful blanket, uh, our sage and our tie-dye desert comma. So see, there is very nice and clean connection uh, of two colors. Here on another side, you can see this uh, strip of sage between uh, uh, oatmeal. That's why we uh, made a row of simple knitting the stitch. Uh, so now I actually have only one small piece left so I can connect a beautiful oatmeal color. It's one of our most popular colors, really beautiful. So let's find the end of it. And we will. I will show you how I will connect this part with a simple knot. So I will cut the yarn a little bit to make the end uh, shorter and then I will make a knot and I will pull it in both sides until you can feel that no way to pull then take your scissors cut one part one end and another close to the uh, knot and that's pretty much it it's very easy and you don't really see this connection on the blanket so if you want to connect uh, the yarn this way that's the easiest way so now we will do the same we will make i'm skipping for stitch again see this beautiful chain here and now we will knit the first row to uh, kind of hide the connection of the uh, different yarn and after knitting and try to make it, uh, stitches as small as possible this way you will not see much of the connection on the finished project and then it will be looking very nice and neat so here we are and now we will back we will get back to our uh, pattern so two purled you can easily see you're purling here so you can purl now and here this is knitted stitch knit purl again and knit and then knit to i mean purl two more i'm sorry knitted stitch look like a chain purl look like a bump so we are knitting knitted st stitches and purling uh, purled one. So now we are done with our first, uh, actually second row of uh, oatmeal. I will keep knitting with oatmeal color until uh, I have three uh, weeds of the blanket left. You will need at least three, maybe even three and a half, and that will be enough to cast off. So I will be back. Okay, guys, so I am done with the oatmeal color. So here it is, a beautiful uh, oatmeal color. So I am leaving three weeds of the blanket. One, two, three, and a little bit uh, more. That should be enough to finish or cast off the blanket. So to cast off the blanket, so you can see that yarn uh, is here, working yarn. So I will make one extra stitch here that will help us to have a beautiful corner over here okay if you don't make this extra stitch the corner will be rounded so what are we doing now uh, this stitch you have it on your fingers and then you add another stitch and then you're taking working yarn and pulling it through these two stitches so you just uh, cast off your first two stitches see we have beautiful corner over here beautiful uh uh, chain on this uh, on the side and now we keep our fingers inside this last stitch add second stitch and then uh, knit them together and that's what you will be doing you will be knitting two stitches at a time and that's called casting off okay so here we are we have two 
stitches knitting at a time we will have beautiful chain on the top of the blanket the same as we now have on the sides and on the bottom so when we reach our last stitch so here we are two stitches we're making last stitch this little tail going inside and then you're pulling it out so here we are we just finished our blanket guys and this uh, little tail is going underneath this chain so underneath two part of the two part of the uh, stitches and then you can hide it on the back uh, of the blanket if you want you can sew it but it's not necessary so here we are you just tuck it in so here we are see this is our beautiful blanket this is chain here chain on this side chain on this side now we can go check on the back we have beautiful chain on the back and i already finished it here uh, the same way i tucked in the uh, tail underneath the chain so here is our beautiful blanket guys uh, beautiful sage uh, tie dye desert camo and oatmeal and i use three skeins for this beautiful baby blanket 25 by 40 you can find this yarn at becausey.com or becausey.net stay woman and becausey hey guys larissa with becausey.net is here i would like to introduce uh, my hand knitting book the book was published in september 21 and recently it was also published with the christian publishing agency it's available on our website and also available on amazon this is the only book on hand knitting on the craft market it's extremely unique and uh, very beautiful Beautiful book uh, explaining uh, hand knitting, uh, giving you a history of our company, how hand knitting was born, and then it also gives you uh, a few patterns, uh, simple patterns, with a very detailed pictures how to make every single step on the way. Go to the link underneath this video and purchase this book, and let's hand knit. Mm -hmm.